All right, we're talking about direct variation today. It's the same as the constant of proportionality. Do you remember when we did those worksheets on our iPad that you had to tell, was it a constant of proportionality problem? If so, tell the constant and write the equation. It was based on graphs, charts. Remember that? Okay, so you're going to be able to look at a... At a an equation and tell me if it's direct variation, okay? You're also gonna be able to write equations and tell me the constant. Um, so direct variation is a linear relationship between two variables. What does linear mean? What word do you see in there? And don't tell me here. What word do you see in there, Jared? Line. It's gonna be a line, right? Through two variables. What two variables do we use when we're looking at a line? Jackson? X and Y. X and y. If they ever change the variables on the x-axis, just use the whatever they use on the x-axis as x. The one they put on the y-axis is y. Remember, it's going to be written as y equals kx. Okay, two things must be true. What were those two things that had to be true if it was a constant of proportionality problem, which is also known as direct variation? What are the two things? Give me one of them, Sam. Um, they have to go, or they can't be a straight line. Yeah. It has to go through the origin. And it has to be a straight line. Straight line meaning it's a constant rate of change, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. K represents the constant. We also know that as what? This is also, no, AKA, also known as. Remember what we put in front of X, Jared? The slope. The slope. What's slope mean? Give me other words for slope that we've gone over about a million times. Give me some other words that mean slope, Kobe. Rise over run. The letter M. M, yep. What else? And now M is going to be K. So M and K are the same thing here. And you got to know that one. Y over X. Constant rate of change. Uh, change in Y over change in X. There's one more big one that we spent a lot of time on. What's another name for slope, rise over run, Y over X, constant rate of change? Two words. Good job, Camden. Unit rate. Unit rate's going to be huge on the iLearn unit rate. Okay, so it's got to go through the origin and it has to be straight. If it looks like this, would that be a direct variation problem? No. So what is behind the X here? Do you see anything back there? Are they adding or subtracting anything? It has to be in the form, you have to be able to get it into the form Y equals KX. It cannot have anything added or subtracted. It cannot have exponents with the variables. So it says, tell whether each represents direct variation. If so, identify the constant. Okay, number one, y equals 5x plus 8. Is this a direct variation? No. no, it is not. You guys know from your experience of graphing, that's in slope-intercept form, isn't it? This would go through 8. 
wouldn't it, on the y-axis? That's a y-intercept, so that's no. Number two, does that represent direct variation? Yes. What's the constant? Also known as m. What is the constant or the unit rate? Tessa? 3.6. 3.6. This might be a problem where it's $3.60 per pack. What about number three? Jackson? Yes, it is. It's not, there's nothing added or subtracted, but is it y equals? Do you have y equal? We have 8y equals 2x, don't we? How do we get y by itself? Divide by 8 on both sides. So we get y equals either 1 fourth x or y equals 0.25x, right? So is this, this is yes, isn't it? What's my constant? Also known as m, also known as unit rate. You could write it two different ways. What's one way to write it? Gavin? It's in the form y equals kx, right? The k is the number out in front of the x. What is that? 0 0.25, or what else could I write? 1 fourth. Mm hmm Yep, either one of those would work. Look at number four. What do you say, Van, about number four? No. Do you see everybody say no? Do you see how they're adding one there? Can't do that. What about number five? I see yes. Is y by itself? No. What do we do to get y by itself? Check. Divide by nine on both sides. Divide by nine on both sides. So we get y over here equals negative two-thirds x. This is yes. What's my constant? Also known as my slope. Also known as my unit rate. Also known as my rise over my run. Brady? Uh, look at your solved equation. Negative two-thirds. Is that hard? No. no. All right, the next one say, tell whether X and Y vary directly. If so, find K and write equations. Now, you remember all these things that you guys told me up here for constant is also known as up there? Which one are we going to use? This takes us back to the worksheets that we did. Which one do we want to test to see if it's a constant? Which one of those? Camden? What? Okay, which is also known as, which one of those, can we do rise over run? Can we do y over x? Let's use y over x. So test these, see if y over x is the same every single time. What's the first one's y over x? Four over one, and that reduces to what, four? What's the next one's y over x? Seth? Seth, is 8 over 2 the same as 4 over 1? So these are equal. I promise you guys these will be on the test. Next one. Next one. Jared? Is that the same as 4 over 1, Jared? Last one. Hannah, is that the same as 4 over 1? Yes. Yep. So what's, is this yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now notice we don't know if it goes through 0, but if you use that same pattern, 0, 0 would work in there. What's the constant? What do we find out? What does it reduce to every time, Sam? 4. 4. What's the equation then of this, Alex? 
Yep. Y equals 4X. What do you think on number seven? Just right off the top of your head looking at the chart. Landon? No, why not? There's only one negative, right? If you only have one negative, these other ones would come up positive or undefined, right? So it's no. And then the next part says the variables X and Y vary directly. So it's telling you that it varies directly. So we know it goes through the origin, line. origin and it's straight. Use the values to find the constant of proportionality and write an equation that relates X and Y. I'm giving you y equals 9, and I'm giving you x equals 3. What do you think we're going to use to find the constant? What do you think, just by what I've given you, what do you think you're going to use? We're going to use y over x, right? So just put y over x. What's my y, Jacob? Over, what's my x? So what is k going to equal? 3. So what's the equation of this one? What's the equation here? Jackson? Y equals 3X. Y equals 3X. You guys do the next one. All right, so how do we find K? How do we find K here, Jack? Y over X. What's Y? 24. Over? 15. What is that? Uh, 1 and 9 fifths or 1 and 3 fifths. 1 and 3 fifths, let's... We can make it one point, what's three fifths? 1.6. 1. 1. So what's the equation? Y is equal to 1.6. X. X. 